Hi everyone. You're going to be participating in a writing workshop this week, and I wanted to briefly talk to you about the importance of peer response and the great opportunity it is to get to look at another person's writing. Your partner will be responding to the same essay prompt that you are, and so you get to see how that person approaches that prompt and, and look at their style and their writing voice as well as to look at their writing objectively by answering the questions I provide you. So a lot of times when we're looking at our own writing, we can't always look at it as objectively, partially because we're attached to our own writing. We have trouble critiquing ourselves and partially because we're very familiar with what we wrote and we can't always see it with fresh eyes. So by practicing on another person's writing, it helps us to see the process that we need to go through for our own writing as well. So, for example, some of the questions I ask you are, what is the thesis of the writing? Is it clear? Or are, does the student transition well between sentences, between paragraphs? Things like that help you to see how that person's writing is working and also Think about how you can apply those same questions to your piece of writing to see if those things are in order in your own essay. Now, as far as student response goes, I also want you to think about that. You're going to be reading a couple handouts about student response and revision and taking a quiz about those things. But when you are responding to your partner's essay on the discussion board, always think about how you want to be responded to. Many of you may have received a paper back from a teacher before that's just all marked in red. Every wrong thing that they could find that you did, they marked. And how does that make you feel usually if you see all these negative comments or marks on your paper? It makes you feel bad, right? you get dejected feeling because you just feel like you're a failure. So when you're responding to someone else, think about what might help them to improve. It's true that we want to offer critique and point out areas, problem areas to our peers in their writing, but we also want to praise. And that's one of the things the reading brings out is to challenge yourself to give as many praise comments about someone's writing as you do critical comments. So that's why I include things like what is the golden line of the essay, your favorite line of the essay. People like to hear what good you have to say about their work. And you want to look for that. What is the student doing right? what part of the writing is working well so that they know. Maybe they wrote something that's really great, but they don't know that it's great. And so for you to tell them will really help them extend that strength and look at what um, is working in their essay. And then also choose things that need work, but think about how you word them. So say, you're looking at the question that says, are, is each paragraph focused on one main idea? And if you see a paragraph that is not focused, that has several different ideas within it, instead of saying, this paragraph is awful, I can't understand what you're trying to say, just tell them in um, terms that aren't hurtful, you know, <laughs> so say, um, I see that you have several ideas in this paragraph, but as a reader, that's confusing to me. If you could focus on just one idea per paragraph, that would make your argument much more clear. So just the way we word things really makes a difference as to how they're received and how helpful they are to the person. So think about that as you go through, try to keep your comments positive, even if you're making critical um, insights into their writing. I'm looking forward to seeing um, your critiques of each other's essays, and I hope it helps you in your revision process. I will be giving you feedback as well on those essays. So I will see you soon. Bye.